Yoon Eun Hae was once the golden girl of the entertainment industry, capturing hearts across Asia as both an idol and an actress. Unfortunately, her rise to fame came with an equally devastating fall, which has fans wondering what happened to her. Eun Hae first caught public attention as the maknae of the first-generation K-pop group Baby Vox. She was thrown into the brutal world of K-pop at just 15 years old in 1999, a time when the Korean entertainment scene was just beginning to take the world by storm, Baby Vox was at the forefront of this new cultural phenomenon, known for their hit songs and glamorous image. As one of the most popular girl groups of the time, Baby Vox attracted both passionate fans and obsessive anti-fans. The K-pop scene during this era was brutal for idols, who faced strict schedules, little privacy, and in Unhe's case, dangerous encounters with haters. These anti-fans were not just big-mouthed individuals hiding behind a screen, they actually acted on their hatred. Unhe became a specific target Target, all because of the rumors that circulated around her and fellow member Shim Eun Jin. One of the most notorious rumors linked Eun Jin to Moon Hee Joon from the legendary boy group H.O.T., sparking a frenzy among fanatical supporters of the group. These fans believed Baby Vox members were a threat to their beloved idols, and they decided to make Eun Hae pay for this. The most terrifying incident occurred when a deranged anti-fan attacked her by throwing a vinegar and soy sauce mixture into her eyes, severely damaging her cornea. As a result, she had to be rushed to the hospital and was forced to wear an eye patch for weeks while continuing to perform. Imagine being just 15, thrown into a crazy amount of fame, and having to deal with not only the pressures of stardom, but also the terrifying reality of being physically attacked by strangers. Eventually, enough was enough, and in 2005, Unhe left her idol life behind to pursue a new career in acting. It seemed like she finally managed to escape the chaos, but little did she know that what would come next would be a million times worse. Unhe landed her first major role in the 2006 rom-com Princess Hours, where she played a normal high school girl who suddenly finds herself becoming the crown princess of Korea through an arranged marriage. The role came with its own challenges. Fans of the original Manhua were skeptical of her acting abilities and even started petitions to have her replaced. However, against all odds, Princess Hours became a massive hit, not only in South Korea but across Asia, turning Unhe into a sensation. After this, she was securing role after role, and things seemed to be going well until everything got ruined with the release of My Fair Lady. Despite the moderate success of the show, her acting was heavily under fire, with critics claiming that her speech and accent felt unnatural. Netizens quickly turned on her, suggesting that her idol background was proof that idols shouldn't pursue acting careers. Getting called a bad actress wasn't the end of the world, but her image took a major hit in 2013 when she was caught up in an investigation focused on high-profile celebrities who were allegedly employed at adult establishments. The scandal began when rumors spread across social media, suggesting that a lot of top actresses in the industry, including Eun Hae, were part of a criminal group providing inappropriate services to wealthy clients. Allegedly, these services were in exchange for outrageous sums of money, with the price tags going as high as $47,000 per client. For a moment, it seemed like Eun Hae's long-lasting career was coming to an end, as being linked to this investigation did irreversible damage to her name. The story blew up fast, spreading through social media like wildfire, dragging Eun Hae and others into the mud. However, despite the gravity of the accusations, prosecutors ultimately found no evidence linking Eun Hae or any of the other high-profile actresses to the ring. After an investigation, they clarified that while some individuals involved in the case had appeared on TV, none were well known celebrities. The prosecution also made sure to publicly clear Eun Hae and the others of any involvement to help minimize the damage caused by these baseless rumors. Many actresses declared they would pursue legal action against those responsible for spreading the malicious rumors, which they believed had caused them significant emotional and professional harm. Although Eun Hae was proven innocent, the scandal and the intense media coverage surrounding it cast a shadow over her career for years to come. It didn't take long before Eun Hae found herself at the center of yet another scandal, this time involving plagiarism. In 2015, she appeared on the Chinese fashion design show Goddess Fashion and made hundreds of headlines. In one of the episodes, she created a white coat with dramatic frilled sleeves that won her first place. However, Korean designer Yoon Chun Ho quickly accused her of copying a design from his fall and winter collection, which had been showcased earlier that year. Expressing his discontent, he publicly said, I can see that it's a bit different from mine and people might say it's just a coincidence, but I am offended. 
I feel that way and so do my coworkers. Fashion designers out there, don't you think we would know our own clothing? He also revealed that Eun Hye and her team had recently picked up a sponsored outfit from his company, further confirming that the design was most likely stolen. The accusations caused huge outrage on the internet, with fans and netizens drawing visual comparisons between Eun Hye's design and Chun Ho's work, claiming the resemblance was way too strong to ignore. Things got so out of hand, Eun Hye and her team were forced to respond to the accusations. She released a lengthy statement through her agency, explaining the creative process behind her design. She argued that the ruffled sleeves and the white color were inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia as the episode's theme revolved around the prompts Snow and Lion. She emphasized that her design was a result of studying fashion trends from multiple brands and that the use of ruffles was a common fashion element, not exclusive to Chunho's designs. Moreover, she expressed disappointment that the designer hadn't contacted her team directly before taking the matter to the public, accusing him of using the controversy to promote his brand. It's safe to say her statement did more harm than good, as netizens felt like her response came across as defensive and dismissive, only further ruining her public image. Many were furious that she never properly apologized for the mishap, showing very little remorse. As a result, Unhe had no choice but to lay low. A few months after the scandal, she attended an event for a fashion brand, apologizing for the harm she caused and promising fans to do better in the future. Netizens were still not happy, with some commenting things like, what kind of apology is this? It's so obvious she's just doing it because she needs to start working in Korea again. From the reactions to her quote-unquote apology, it became very clear that the public didn't want anything to do with her anymore. After the plagiarism scandal, Eun Hye took a step back from the entertainment industry. She canceled most of her scheduled events and kept a low profile for several years. When she did reappear, it was in smaller roles and low-key variety shows until 2018, when she made her long-awaited return to the small screen with the drama Love Alert. Despite her efforts, the show couldn't match the success of her earlier projects, but Eun Hye kept pushing forward. By 2019, she starred in Go Go Song, which was her last drama to date. Although there's no denying that the scandal caused her career to crumble, some netizens believe there's more to the story. Since the beginning of her career, Eun Hye was praised for her stunning visuals, even being called the nation's first love for her cute looks and amazing acting. Even though she was very talented, it's undeniable that her beauty played a big role in her success, both as an idol and as an actress. However, her transformation over the years caused tons of speculation about her going under the knife, a topic that she's been dodging for years. Rumors about Unhe's plastic surgery began circulating early on in her career, but she never addressed them publicly. Netizens, however, have been tireless in their comparisons of her past and current photos. Many believe that she underwent multiple cosmetic procedures, including double eyelid surgery, rhinoplasty, jaw reduction, and even breast enhancement. Additionally, there are rumors that she regularly gets fillers and Botox to maintain her youthful appearance. Unhe never as much as addressed the rumors, yet that didn't stop people from making assumptions and attacking her over them. People flooded her social media, pointing out how frozen and expressionless she looked, claiming she had gone overboard with Botox. Every public appearance turned into a nightmare, with netizens tearing her apart for looking too fake. The rumors are still present to this day, even though Eun Hye has long given up on acting and is more focused on making videos for her YouTube channel. Fans who watch her recent content say she looks entirely different from her past self due to alleged cosmetic procedures, and many feel sad that her natural beauty has vanished completely. Whether whether it's because of her scandals or because of the rumors, it looks like Eun Hye realized that she's not stepping back into the spotlight anytime soon. In an episode of Radio Star in 2020, she frightened fans with her erratic behavior as she revealed that she cries for 30 to 40 minutes every day as a way to process her emotions. Contrary to what people might think, Eun Hye explained that she doesn't cry out of sadness but uses it as a method to release stress and reflect on her daily challenges. Shockingly enough, she admitted that when she's really sad, she can cry for as long as three to four hours. This revelation drew attention from fans and netizens alike, with some expressing concern about her mental well-being and others calling her severely unstable. The fall from fame undoubtedly did its number on her, and fans fear she'll never recover again. 